everyone, my name is Droogie Forever, and today we're back with Cog Clues 2, Part 3. Uh, I'm very excited to be playing this again. I hope people will continue to watch this series, because it's a really good game. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Alright, um, I guess maybe we gotta get these others to show up somehow. The other lights there. Oh, I didn't even realize what that was until it got close to me. Oh god, how did that miss? What the fuck? How did that second shot miss? That was ridiculous. Whoa, I didn't expect that to open. Okay. That's one of the buttons, I'm sure. So basically, we gotta find all those little buttons. All right. Okay, yeah, there are two there. I don't know. God, I keep hearing noises all over the place. Positional audio is really borked in this game. I don't mind, but it's like... Filled with human remains. Yeah. Doesn't seem like... Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. I was stuck. Alright. Minecart on a rusted track. What's going on? What the fuck? Something's here. Is there a button over here? Nope. Jonathan says we have to destroy the moon to kill Ducky. Easier said than done. He himself can barely stand. He's so weak. We're all going to die here instead of getting people's hopes up. He should just accept it. <laughs> I mean, man. You definitely have given up, huh? There it is. Okay. Whoa. It's spraying goo everywhere. Okay, so that's how the goo got across there last time. Alright, I can barely see in here. Okay. How many of the buttons do we got now? All but one. Shit. Um, I went in there. There's gotta be a door. Yep, right here. It's one of these. It's gotta be. The order in which you push each button is important to raise the head, to open the mouth. Okay, so we've got two different things here. All right, do we see any of the buttons? I don't see a button here. I don't think there's a button in this one. There's a button. Okay. So that's all the buttons. I'm assuming we're trying to raise the head. I, I have to keep track of which buttons are which. Fuck, I'll be back. I'm just going to stop the recording, and I'll be back when I figure it out. Okay, I figured it out. Sorry I did that all off camera. Um, so I got all of them entered. I raised the head, and then I should have started recording like as soon as I did that. But I raised the head, and then I opened the mouth. And I think now we get in the minecart. And something's going on with my health. I'm losing health, but I haven't been attacked by anything. I have no idea what's going on.
Oh shit. Last thing you remember is the minecart coming loose from the track. Your head is throbbing. What is this place? I don't know, but there's water. I feel like this is going to be a boss fight. This, this, that's what it looks like. Yeah, we're in like an arena. This is definitely going to be a boss fight of some sort. What the fuck is this thing? All right, let's go look at the water. I'm sure this is what it wants. Wish we could have saved right before this. I can't move. There we go. Okay. I think I figured it out. So, we gotta shoot those things to make the mirrors visible. I don't know how many of them there are. Um, okay. Oh, also, I need health, so we gotta shoot this guy. Because it gets my health back. Okay, I think I've... I think I've uncovered all the mirrors, but I gotta... Come on, dude. I'm just trying to get my health back. Just give me a minute. All right, I don't know how much health I have, but I know I'm almost full. Almost got it all back. I think I'm close. All right, I can hit the switch soon. There we go, finally. Where is it? Where is it? You fall! You destroyed my world while we're still inside it! Oh well. Ah! Too bad, ducky. You know he's gonna get up and like chase me or something. And I have like no freaking health, so this is gonna be interesting. What is that? Oh. What the hell? Dude, just give us a jump button. Why are we not allowed to jump? I know where we're going up. Okay. I know where we're going up. Okay. It was where we had it grabbed that bucket earlier. Oh shit. got an achievement all right now the thing's going back defeat ducky achievement unlocked all right we definitely need to save it 
because we've done some things since the last time we were here. Are we in the mirror world? No, this is the regular one. I don't know, but I can definitely save it finally. All right. I wonder if I have to go back to the mirror world. No, because the elevator's open. So basement? Okay, basement. Basement it is. Why were they, why was there a like editing thing there? Did you see that? It was like censored. What was that? Is this game censored? Dad, go away. You weren't welcome. You're trespassing. Dad, uh, are you okay? Some sickos keep banging on my front door. He won't leave. And I had to get my shotgun. Dad, call the police and get out of there. He's one of those people from earlier. He crashed their car. He keeps smashing his head into the front door. They're all surrounding the house. Okay. This is the manager's office, it says. Oh, I thought he was dead. Two shots, usually, for those. What is that? Looks like the floor is a little off. Submarine sitting in a glass display case. You notice a key attached to the top of the submarine. The only way to get to the key is to break the display case. The key is tarnished and brittle. Submarine key. Old books and binders. Small key on the table. Sewer key. Basement manager note. The bar is still having plumbing problems. I told Terry to go into the sewer and drain the entire system, but he said we need three different sewer valves to completely drain it. I have one of the valves in my basement office. Terry said there should be another down in the old staff laundry room. We aren't sure where the last one is, so please keep your eyes peeled in case you see it. You can access the old staff laundry room through a vent in the laundry room. This is our busy time of year and we're losing thousands of dollars due to the bar being shut down. Please take care of this, Ben. It's been two weeks and nothing has been solved. So there's two valves and we need to go through a vent in the laundry room? Okay, I guess. Okay, weird interact for that. Okay, anyway, find nothing useful. TV is on, but the image on the screen is frozen. All right, I think we've done everything we can do here, I think. It's a save up there. Okay, that didn't even fucking hit it. Okay. Okay, there's that one dead. All right, we better save it before I get caught in fights with a bunch more of these things. Is that another one? It is. There's two of them. I'm going to save it again since we just killed people and maybe that'll help us when we load it. I don't know. Earlier it seemed like when we loaded it enemies just reappeared, but maybe they don't. I don't know. Who knows? Is he dead? Whoa. Oh, come on. Who knows? All right, there's a lot of blood going that. Oh, come on. Dude, there's way too, way too many enemies in this section. All right, that's the stairs, so it's probably gonna tell me I can't go in there. Door is jammed shut. Door won't budge, but you can hear something moving on the other side. All right, so our only option here is the sewer entrance. Door is locked, you need a key. It's for staff laundry. 
hole in the wall, you can hear a faint buzzing sound from inside. Mop in a bucket. Doesn't seem to be any power to the elevator. Notes and information for the staff, posting about healthcare or immigration status. Door is locked, you need a key. Alright, so we have to go in the sewer. And there's another save here, nice. There's something down there. Metal bucket attached to a chain. It's empty. Okay. Button on a large pipe. You push the button. Oh. Okay. That gives me a little bit of a walkway on one area. What was that? Old metal keys, staff quarters. Trail of black liquid stops abruptly at the wall. Okay, those don't open. So all we've got is waste disposal and whatever that is. Okay, none of them are opening. Let's see what's over here. None of these open. Okay. Where the hell do I get a valve? Oh, valve handle one. Okay. What did that do? What's the point of that? Ugh, okay. Something's happening. Flashlight keeps blinking on and off. Okay. Used staff quarters key. Whoa. What is that? It is a jack-in-the-box, apparently. Screwdriver. We've complained to the management staff several times about the strange noises and odd occurrences happening in the hotel. But they just laugh in our faces. Miriam and I have decided to record a log of all these incidents so we can present it to Schneider and the other managers. Clintia and Vlad were cleaning out the vents in the laundry room when they heard blood-curdling screams from the room below. The screams lasted about a minute then stopped after an extensive search. The source of the screams was never found. Carl, one of the waiters slash busboys, went missing on the fourth floor while delivering food. We found him two days later, completely delirious, in the basement hallway. He ran out of the hotel without explaining what happened. We never saw him again. Um, a pair of guests were on the dock when they started hearing grunting from the trees behind them. They called out to whoever was grunting but got no response. The sound continued until they left. The guests claimed that later that night they heard the grunting outside their hotel room door. They were too frightened to open the door but saw nothing through the peephole. A severed ear was found on the dock. It was covered in a greasy brown substance. Uh, Schneider said it was probably an animal ear. He threw it in the garbage. The body of a young African-American girl was found a few miles away near Cordova. The paper said she had both of her ears cut off. Could the ear we found be related to that incident? I asked Schneider if we should call the police, and he told me I need to stop being so nosy. A rabid deer was found inside the pool gate area and must have jumped over the fence and gotten trapped inside. We called Animal Control, who arrived three hours later to kill and dispose of it. The strange thing is, no matter how many times they shot it, it wouldn't go down. It just kept uh, screaming and shaking violently. They eventually put a tarp over it and hauled it away. Guests on several floors reported hearing a baby wailing during the late hours of the night. 
Uh, while walking to the staff quarters in the basement, I noticed a strange silhouette in front of the door, a tall, dark figure dressed in black. I called out, but it ignored me and entered the staff quarters. After checking inside, I wasn't able to find anyone inside the room. And then something down there says crawling on all fours, but we can't read the rest, so I don't know what that's all about. We picked up the laundry key, finally. Been looking for that everywhere. Employee uniforms, folded. First aid kit. Yeah, I took a shot. A row of washing machines. Folded towels. Okay, nothing behind there. All right. Now that the vent has moved, you can climb down, which we did. Old washing machine. Old dryer. Old dryer. Valve handle number two. Okay, that was weird. What the fuck? Huge gash has been cut into the floor. The gap in the door. It's a separate reality. Why did you do that? Why would you jump into it? That's stupid. Seriously, why would you jump in? Who would do that? No one would do that. You would run out of that place. Like, I, I clicked on it so he would examine it. Not so he would jump into the fucking thing. I had no idea he was going to do that. I mean, who would? Why would I expect him to do that? That's ridiculous. No one would ever do that. It's so dumb. I don't even understand. Who would do that? That's not a thing. That's like anyone would do. Okay. Hello? Oh boy. not expected to come back. Thought we had killed it. I don't know what to do, because... Ah, oh, shit. Go, 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 go. Okay. Please shoot again. I'm out of... I can't... I have no... Defeat the Forgotten Help. Achievement unlocked. Oh, it's the other valve. Thank God. I'm glad we came down here then. I don't know how I'm going to get back up, but glad I came down. Oh, this is open now. What the fuck? You ride the elevator upward. Okay, I know where we are. All right. All right, I'll put the other two on. Anyway, that was kind of weird. Oh, I got to hit the button again? That's strange. Wait, no? Uh, huh? How do I get through? Oh, it's acting like they're here, but they're not. That's weird. That's really weird. Okay, so now what? Okay, definitely drain something somewhere. I don't know where that is, but 
We'll figure it out. Oh shit, we're in the other world? What the fuck? Wasn't expecting that. Right off the bat, just bam, you're in the other world. Okay, that opened something. Crawl through the gap in the fence. The gap in the door. It's a separate reality. The door to the basement isn't there anymore. Metal bucket's empty. Alright, this is where the blood led earlier. Step into the wall. I didn't know what it was, but I saw it moving, and I was like, I am going to shoot that. Alright, new save for this, since we're in a weird place. Oh, shit, shit, shit! I can't- what the fuck? I can't move! What the hell? I went to go back by and couldn't move. How was it even there? I didn't even see it. And why is it censored? What is going on with these censored monsters? Why is it censoring this monster, whatever it is? Uh, hello? The rats here are diseased, but still a tasty treat. All you really need is some decaying meat. Lay it near their hole, then wait as long as you can. A rat will appear. Don't let it bite your hand. That's kind of weird. Small glass enclosure. There's a mouse wheel inside connected to electronic equipment. Looks like a rodent was kept inside at some point. An outlet. You can use it to charge the camcorder. You plug in the charger and attach the battery. Good as new. Okay. That's weird because we left the camcorder in, the, uh, in that one room. Makeshift wooden cages for small animals. You see several rat carcasses that have been picked clean. I guess if we find a mouse, we might be able to put it in that cage thing. Part of the ceiling is collapsed, blocking off this room. Something seems odd about it. Strong metal hook. Mining hook. A rat hole. You peer in, but don't see anything. Okay. So, I wonder how many rat holes there are. I wonder if I've missed any, or if that's just the only one. Another hook. Oh, God. Damn it. You can, like, not see those things. They just appear in front of you all of a sudden. Like, what the fuck? I don't like that. Nothing in the decaying dumpster of any use. Long metal pole stretches out. It's too narrow to try to walk across. I mean, you could try. I wouldn't make it. Another mining hook. That's three of them. Broken mine cart is blocking the path to another area. All right, so we got to go down here. Strong metal chains. Okay. Okay. Well... We got the chains and the hook. Let's see if we can move the cart. Okay, that worked. Nice. What? Okay, I guess it's not an enemy. It looked like an enemy. It's my bad. Dirty trash cans, one filled with a strange black liquid. Is that the concluse? Decaying old dumpster with nothing of use. Not even that can that I can see. I knew this was a monster, damn it! Huh. 
I knew it. I freaking knew it. Rotting meat. Okay, so now we got the meat for the rats. Too narrow to walk across. Okay. You wait for a moment, nothing happens. Maybe you should leave this area and come back after some time passes. You wonder if the meat has gotten any bites yet. Picked up mutated rat. Okay. Can I put it in the cage? Put the rat inside. Sorry, buddy. Okay, that lit this up. Oh, this is lit up. You press the large button. Whoa. Okay. Let's get in this thing. Go for a ride. Is that thing? What? I can clearly see it there. Like, come on, game. I hear another one. There it is. Seriously, dude, come on. Oh my god, this game is fucking ridiculous. This is insane! This is insane, man. I'm fucking clicking right on it, like shooting right at it. There's no reason for that. That's crazy. That is crazy. Unbelievable. I think it said nothing happened. Okay. So we gotta go down here and look around, I guess. Door is locked. Okay. Alright, I can get through there. Let's see if there's anything else useful here. Nope, not really. God, and every miss hurts you, and it's like ridiculous because I'm fucking not missing. I shot right at it. It's insane that it didn't fucking hit it. I mean, that's insane. It was a perfect shot. All of them were. They were great shots. It's fucking crazy to me. Like, what the fuck? How is How did that get fucked up? Clearly hitting him. Like, no question about it. That's why I aimed high. I was like, is it hitting the fucking... What is going on with this guy now? Okay. I thought maybe it was hitting the railing or something, so I was like, well, I'll aim high, I guess. Alright, where is this thing? Dude! How are these missing? It's fucking taking my goddamn health for, like, no reason. What the fuck, game? Come on! If you're gonna have guns take your health every time you fire it, you best sure believe, like, when that fucking hits, it has to hit. Period. You cannot fuck that up on the development side. That is not acceptable at all. If it hits, it needs to fucking hit. Period. If you're gonna take my health away, do not fucking... You, you need to do some work on that. Like, that that's crazy. 
disfigured key. After an extensive investigation of the sub-basement where Ben went missing, absolutely nothing has been found. The new plumber hired by Vince checked and confirmed the drainage issue was not coming from the sub-basement's plumbing. Though we have found nothing to confirm Ben's death, it is strange to think his body might be down there rotting somewhere. I keep wondering if he crawled into some hole and got stuck and no one ever found him. Can you imagine dying like that? Anonymous. I'm going to have to use some health here shortly because I don't know what else to do. All right. Do I need to just drop? Is that what we're doing here? Uh, Something is here, but I don't know where. It's like very close to me, but maybe it's below me. I don't freaking know. All I know is it was I was in its area of effect, sort of. Where the fuck is this thing? I have no idea. There's something here somewhere and Dude, get up here. There's some crazy shit going on with the um the gun mechanics and like the things you walk over. Like they're not smoothed out properly. I'm getting annoyed with getting stuck. Like, you know, it's happening so much. Okay, so this is what the key went to. Alright. Ted sent three carts back to loading without calling ahead, causing major line damage and breaking all three carts. Our insurance requires Ted take a 40-hour safety course. He must remember to call ahead before sending carts to different areas. The number is easy to remember. It's 6-888. Damaged equipment, rudeness. All right. 6-888. I'm guessing I need that for something. So we need to use the camera, apparently. Yeah, apparently that was it. I don't even know how I would have ever figured that out, but, but all right. Without looking it up, like I don't, 6888, someone picks up. Hello? Can you, might as well check to see if she sent the cart. After spending two days working on the hotel boiler, we're no closer to a solution to the hotel's drainage issue. Guests continue to report dark water, hair, and strange liquids coming from their water faucets. The hotel manager informs me there are several hidden floors below the hotel, and the plumbing still runs through these areas. Tomorrow, I will go down into these hidden floors to see what I can find. Ben. Okay, so supposedly... What was that? Painting with a horrible stench. No title, but depicts a smiling old woman with disgusting, rotting facial features. Interesting. Massacre at the Steps of Creation. She did. Okay. Finally. Oh, I thought it ran out. I thought the track ran out. Why am I still in the green here? Rotting female corpse, completely mangled. Uh, I can't see shit. Like, what is... Uh, nothing of use in the dumpster. Hmm. 
Let the rats bite you. Let the rats bite you. Let the disease spread to you. Let the feeling wash over you. Spread the disease yourself. Spread it to everyone. Make everyone sick like you. Make everyone crazy like you. Make everyone miserable like you. Spread your misery across the quantum manifold. Spread it to other worlds. Enlighten all beings to misery. Make every world miserable. Combine all worlds in misery. This is the meaning of the universe. And then I can't interact with whatever that other thing is. Looks like you need to weigh down the metal plate on the track with something to open the gate. Okay. Can I use the body? It will not let me use the body. Uh, the minecart. Here we go. Should I get in the minecart? Okay, I guess not. Oh boy. Knew that was gonna happen. A pair of grinding shoes. They're stained red with rust, but still look usable. You can use these to skate over metal rails. Okay, looks like that's what we're doing now. Okay, and now we're back here. Uh, what? What happened? What just happened? I was right at the end. Okay, so quick up explanation. Uh, they patched it, but this was this was an issue. This was a bug where every time they do a new build of the game, this section is killing people and they have to fix it and then upload another patch, which is why this game has been patched like 30 times in the couple days it's been out. They're patching it like crazy. They're working on it. But that, apparently they have to check each new build for this specific bug that I'm experiencing here. So in part four, we'll make it across. I just didn't have time to do it tonight. Um, I really wanted to. I wanted to give you a longer video here. Um, but it just wasn't meant to be. So uh, we'll get to it in the next part. It is fixed and we'll do it next time. All right, that's the end of Conclose 2 for now. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, tell that like button you want to smash, and don't forget to subscribe. You stay you, I'll stay me, Droogie forever. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. Later.